Hi everybody, this is Denise with PurplePaperParadise.com and today is our eCraftShop Pro software video. And right on the screen here you're going to see the card that I made uh, using uh, the eCraftShop Pro software. And today I decided to focus on another way that you can use the pen that comes with the eCraft. And so, um, in the card here, if you notice on the butterfly, I have some pen work that's done here. And let me pull up a close-up view here for you. As you can see, the word happy is written all over these butterflies. And I actually did four cutouts, and I layered them. And I did tone on tone. So you can see I used the red pen on red paper the green pen on the green paper, purple on the purple, and blue on blue. So it was just a very subtle thing, but it just adds a little something special to this butterfly. So let's go ahead and show you the file that I used. This is the actual file that I used to cut all those butterflies out. And I'm going to show you how I went about doing this. So to start off with, we're going to open up a new project. Now, one of the things that I get asked quite a bit is how do I make my own custom mat size? And the trick to that is you need to start a new project. Even when you open up the eCraft Shop Pro software, it automatically opens to a 12 by 12 project. If you want to use a different size, you need to hit either this button here or this little green uh, plus sign right here. Okay? And when you do that, you get this. Um, pop-up box that will ask you what width and what height that you want to have so you just input uh, the dimensions that you want and hit OK. I'm going to go ahead and just leave it at the 12 by 12. Okay so now to get started um, one of the tricks with using fonts is that typically they draw the outline of the font. So I found a font here that's called Stymie Hairline. And this is just one font, but there's a few out there. And this is a single stroke font. So what that means is that it's not going to do an outline. It's just going to do the font as if you were uh, doing this with a typewriter or on your computer. So I'm going to select my text tool here, put my cursor on the mat, and I'm going to type out the word happy. Oh it brought it up because that's the word I had before so I'll just take that out there and so now you can see that I've got that on my mat now the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to resize it now if you notice here and this is uh, eCraft Shop Pro version 2.2.2 .2 is that if you take your cursor over to this um, arrow it's going to tell you if you hold down your control key that you're going to maintain aspect ratio so that's what I'm going to do here now, and I'm just going to make the word happy pretty darn small here. And there we go. So now all that I'm going to do is I'm going to um, copy and paste the word happy. And I'm going to do this a few times to get a full row going. And probably five times will be good for our demonstration here. So now I've got five words happy, and each one of them, if I click on it one at a time, each one of them is uh, individual. They're not grouped or anything like that. So I actually want to group it for my purpose. So I'm going to click on my select tool, and I'm going to drag a box around all five of those words. And you can see that there's handles around each and every one of them. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go up to the path menu and I'm going to select union. Now when if you wanted to weld two shapes together this is the exact same way that you would do that as well is that you would go to path union but you got to make sure everything that you want grouped together is selected first. So now that I have done that I can move all five of these at the same time. Now, the reason why I did that is because I want to be able to copy and paste these so that I can create my rows going across here. And let me just go ahead and get a couple of these in here, and then I'll show you how I get them all lined up just nicely. Okay, that's enough for now. So when I go and select my first grouping here, 
I'm going to take a look at my Y coordinate and that is 1.04. So now I'm just going to go to all of my other ones and make sure that they all have 1.04. And I'm just clicking on it directly up here and then using my keyboard and hitting the enter key to get it to um, take that measurement. And I'm having trouble selecting this one, so I click and drag it. There we go. Now, the other thing that you got to keep in mind is your spacing between each of your columns here. So as you can see, the spacing between columns 2 and 3 here is much larger than between 1 and 2. So to do that, what I'm going to do is I'm going to, again, I'm going to select my first one and I'm going to take a look at my X coordinate there and I'm actually going to open up my calculator here just because I find that this makes it easier. So I've got my X is at 2.06 and now I've got 2.92. So if I take 2.92 minus 2.06 I have a difference of 0.86 between each column. So now I know I'm at 2.92 right now, so I'm going to add 2.92 to the 0.86. And that's going to give me 3.78, so that's the measurement that I want here. And now I'm going to do the same thing for here. So 3.78 plus 0.86 is 4.64. Okay, so now I have my grouping together. I'm going to select all of these. And I'm going to, again, I'm going to union them so that they're all together and I don't lose any of the spacing and aligning that I just did as well. Now the very next thing that I'm going to do while I have these all selected is I'm going to select my draw line feature so that they all turn to purple. And now I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to select an image that I want to cut this out of. And I use this butterfly from the Fundamentals 1 SD card. So we're going to go ahead and just use that again. And now I'm just going to place my butterfly in this it's not the same dimensions that I used on my last file, but I'm just going to place my butterfly here so that it's on um, the words. And I kind of, too, just kind of take a look at where they're lining up because I do, uh, with my other one, as you can see here, is I actually did the words a lot smaller and then my butterfly is quite a bit bigger, so I got several happies on it at the same time. But you can do it however you want. But I like to be able to at least a couple times see the entire word. So that's why I did it this way. Now one thing that you want to make sure of is that you put your cut image on your mat after you have put all your drawn images on. And I discovered that when I was working with this file here because I had actually put my butterfly on first figured out what size I wanted my butterfly to be and then went just went and made these happies and just placed the butterfly directly on top of the happies. Now what happened was because I had done my butterfly on the mat first is it cut the butterfly first and then went back and, drew, and used the pen to make the happies. So when I, after I cut the first one out, I said, okay, there's got to be a reason why that is happening. I went and took my butterfly out and put him back in and just put him in back at the same dimensions. And then when I cut him again, it drew all the happies first and then it cut the butterfly just the way I want it to. So that is how I went about and created uh, my card. And if you have any questions about this or you have any suggestions for future videos, please uh, send me an email and visit my blog at www.purplepaperparadise.com. Thanks again and have a great day.